quick video mainly for amateurs in Australia and it's very topical at the moment. This is a Pixie QRP transceiver kit. CW crystal controlled 40 meters. You can build it in an hour or so and it's the cheapest way to get on HF. Now its performance is very limited. CW only, a few hundred milliwatts, crystal controlled and a pretty broad receiver. Still, it's a fun beginner's project and you can make contacts up to hundreds if not thousands of kilometres with it. The reason for this video is that the band plan for 40 metres, which amateurs voluntarily adhere to, is under discussion and may be changed. At the moment, in Australia, if you look at the WIA website you'll see it, the CW segment is 7 to 7.040 kilohertz. Now that's being reviewed. There are different trends in activity, for instance, less SSB, more digital modes, and there's a wish to harmonize the seven megahertz band plan across the world to reduce interference and to improve interoperability. An issue though is that proposals being considered would reduce the CW only segment from 40 kilohertz to 25 kilohertz. Now maybe some reduction is okay, but the thing is, if you look at CW activity in Australia, particularly within VK amateurs, a lot of it is between 7025 and 7030. And having digital modes, especially in that segment, isn't a good match if you've got CW right up against it. For instance, 7025 is a popular frequency that people call CQ and often listen on. Really good frequency for getting contacts. 7023 is the crystal that comes with most Pixie kits. And 7030 is like an international frequency that QRP is often used. Um, it's desirable that it be available all around the world for CW so that we can work DX CW to CW QRP contacts. Plus, you can get crystals for 7030 as you can with 7023. In the case of 7023, yes, it is slightly below 7025 where they intend to draw the line, but these pixies have a pretty broad receiver so that a digital or other signal on 7026 or whatever and make rigs like this almost unusable. So, yeah, I think they do need to be rethinking the band plan, but drawing the line at 7025 where you've got a lot of CW activity between there and 7030 or a bit above isn't the right way to do it. And here's where you can come into it. There's a deadline, September the 6th, 2024. Send an email to tac at wia.org.au. That's tac at wia.org.au and tell them that you want the CW segment to be wider doesn't necessarily have to go all the way up to 7040. Um, maybe they can cut it off at 7033 or 7035, noting that you've already got Whisper uh, not far up above there. But yeah, cutting it off at 7025, I think that's probably too small given the amount of activity, especially between 7025 and 7030. So jump on the WIA website, read the documentation, and say that you want a bigger than proposed CW section on 40 meters that respects existing activity, especially for those that are using non-frequency agile equipment like this Pixie. It'd be great to, even in five or 10 or more years, to dust this Pixie off the shelf, get it on there, and still be able to make contacts with it without interference. And I think that's a, a fair thing in encouraging low cost entry into amateur radio and experimentation with simple equipment. Roger, Roger, you are 5'9 and running 5 watts, 5 watts QRP, over. Okay, great job for 5 watts and uh, 72 seconds for the call. Thank you. No QRP, pussy about QRP. All right, it was great to work. QRP, 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 QRP,
I am QRP 5 watts, 73. 